guys and welcome back to episode two of our girl Tomo chan now i'm not gonna lie i absolutely loved episode one it was chaotic it was hilarious so i'm definitely looking forward to what this time's episode might throw at us so without further ado let us get into things i'm sure you can see too it's only episode two. <laughs> Sir. Do it. No, you do not have to put up with this. Do not actually notice. Lock him up. Mmm, this is definitely a new side to Jin. <gasps> Gundo! Such a bestie. Of course not. Yeah, Jin actually took care of all of them. I think he meant well. Oh, I spoke too soon. I can't relax when you're wearing it. I don't think you heard the end why no 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 for for research purposes how <gasps> scandalous but i don't think tomo genuinely understands wait so tomo thinks skirts how do i even worth this oh oh since when did you grab her oh my jesus Gunda's the lad. Gunda's absolutely the lad. June, my eyes are over here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> the wind. No, he just can't, he can't handle them flies. <gasps> Win gets MVP this episode. <laughs> I mean, a KO dude. It messes things up for me. Mm -hmm. Nope. No, 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 I love you. Yes. For half a day? <gasps> Why do I feel like... Gundra seems to know something a bit more than she's putting on. Like, something in regards to... I'm just looking at the screen, you know, I can't help it. But then the dumbbells! Okay, that wasn't a metaphor! <laughs> ah, so she is... Le foreigner. F of foreigner. Fran. And Carol. Cotton candy. That would actually make so much sense. Ah. Wait, uh, for real? Wait, but didn't you just say she was a distant relative? Ah, uh, okay. This is not a boy! Carol, honestly, maybe you should feel a little. Ah. Uh, 
maybe she thinks Baka means hello. Because she's not fluent in Japanese. Yeah, she's fully comprehended what's going on. <laughs> she's not going to spill the beans on Tomo. Mm. I really don't think I'm just gonna fall. Oh, never mind. Oh, is someone else who can help you more than me? Are you in the boys' lockers? Oh, you're like actually in the lockers. <laughs> oh my boy, Jen. Ooh! Jen has no idea what's going on. But we know what's going on. And we also know what. Gundo set up. We love a cheeky little mastermind. Mm -hmm. You are so devious! <laughs> she runs like a little duckling. Oh, she's done. That, that was her run. <laughs> oh no, Tomo is so mad. Oh, that has been... good she, she is oh she is like a bunny uh-huh uh-huh i can see why she likes to jump rope <laughs> neck exercise yes she knows bye bye <laughs> Karu is a freaking bunny storm. Damn! You mean a limousine? What do you mean you don't know? Don't know why? I wonder why. Someone's cool like that though. Yeah. Damn, I thought... Oh. It's actually quite honest. Friend. Oh, maybe a... Angel! Aww. You seem to be pretty rich after all. You know what? I don't like Carol. I can't like her now. <laughs> Any place to say much about Gundo? What? <laughs> I have no words. Wait, did I read that right? That's why they hate each other? Ending. Well, I put together what the frick they just said. But holy shit, that ending. We need to talk about that ending. I can't believe they left us with that so no wonder this episode you know when um Gundo, ever since episode one i guess it was kind of hinted from episode one but more so i caught on it in episode 
too, you know, when she kind of went up to Jun, I just felt like she had like something on Jun or just you like something a little bit more. And now it makes sense because it does because they freaking went out with each other during middle school. And obviously middle school romances, I know aren't that big, but because they're like how much I thought they did test each other based off episode one. Maybe that's the cause of their like weird ass relationship. But I think that also makes sense as to why Gundo has a couple of lines of dialogue where she says like she's she's best friends with a girl like me. I also thought that was a bit of like a harsh line, but you know, Gundo being Gundo, I always thought like, you know, she kind of says everything out loud, kind of like Carol does. But maybe that might relate to why she might feel a little bit guilty. I hope it doesn't go down that route because honestly, they have such beautiful friendship and Tomo being Tomo and Gundo being Gundo, I don't think the relationship should go down like that. Sorry, it was just like a middle school romance, but Boy, was that a spicy cliffhanger to freaking throw at us. Oh, and also Carol, this episode, she is a, like a bunny storm. I guess a cotton candy storm because she came on like a storm, but at the same time, she was really bouncy and fluffy like a bunny and cotton candy. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the trio's kind of friendship. I think it'll be a really fun dynamic to watch because I can't predict Carol whatsoever in whatever she does. Gundo is a little mischievous and devious and I love her for that. And then also Toma is just so loving. She's an angel, as Carol said. I think that sums it up. She really is an angel with just how cool she is to accept a friendship even though they were enemies just a couple of seconds ago but yeah next week definitely a major ass cliffhanger to talk about so definitely dying for that so until then make sure you guys say awesome and i'll definitely catch you guys then